Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and we've had some slight problems today so uh, someone's got to keep the lid on his tank which someone doesn't like to stay in their tank and likes to petrify Meg and make her catch him and go woo because she was a bit of a flustered she was but uh, we've got it all sorted so fingers crossed he stays in there now and I'll spend the rest of the day trying to find him a new home so I'll uh, we'll crack on with the jobs we've got today big delivery and all that so uh, I'll um, Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me and I'll uh, see you in a bit. He definitely woke up this morning. She took the lid off. He jumped eight. The state of the floor. She's a good girl because while I was down the shop she did all on her own. She collected him up really well. She put it in there. She had a bit of a panic attack afterwards. <laughs> but we calmed her down and he's safe in the tank. She put the lid back on. You did well, Meg. You did good, okay? You did good. Ooh, that's when we put the lid on, because he wants to jump out for some reason, so... Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to do some research and try and find him a proper home, because we can't have him jumping out and stuff. So, I think I'm going to ring around the zoos today and see if I can find him a proper home. We've got the deliveries here. He was actually here before we were today. He was actually sat outside the shop waiting for us with the bloke, so that's quite handy. But, uh, we've got loads of stuff today, but half of it I didn't even order. So at the suppliers, the system is trucking stuff on your your stock list and your cart without even knowing. So that extra terror down there, I didn't order it. It's just on the order, so they've sent it and I've paid for it. So they're gonna have to come come and get it and give me my money back and stuff like that. And they've also sent me 25 boxes of extra locusts. So I've got like. Uh, 60, I've got 85 boxes of locusts. 85 boxes of locusts. It's a bit much, that is. So, ooh, we'll go through it all, see what we got extra, and then I'm going to bring them in, then for them to collect. So, we'll have a look, see what we got in the box. We've got one already opened, one already opened. So, what's we got in the box? Oh, we got lots of calcium. Lots of calcium, so we've got big pots of calcium with D3, because we love a bit of D3. And then we've got boxes of the little ones. Right, so we're raring to go to keep everybody calciumed up and ready to go. So we'll go through, see what else we got. And then I think the best of it's live food and a tank. Well, one tank for me, one tank that's not meant to be mine. So we we'll go through that. I think I'll have to build the fruit, the four foot one at some point. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So after the hua today, I've been jumping out. We're definitely trying to find him a new home now. So I, eat, I don't need to jump out here himself. You know what I mean? It's not right. So I've rang Spy Park. They ain't answering. I've rang the Silo Centre. They ain't answering. Um, I'm running out of people to ring. <laughs> so I've left some messages, but if they reply, I don't know. But uh, I need to find a new home for him because he can't stay here now. If he's going to jump out and stuff like that, he needs to go somewhere else. So, a bit of a shame, but he needs to go to his proper home, he really does. So, we're going to find him a proper home, get him sorted, get him set up, and I'll film the whole thing if I do take him somewhere. But yeah, we, uh, it's essential now we find him a new home. I've just had a message back from the Sea Life Centre. So what I did, I thought, Everyone's all social media nowadays, aren't they? So I thought I'd go on Facebook, find their Facebook link, send them a message on Facebook, and they got back to me within like 10 minutes. I'm happy with that. So I said, um, we've got a red tail catfish. It's from, oh, I said, I'm Alex from 40 Phasms. I said, um, we've got a red tail catfish that needs a good home, forever home now, because he's too big for us. Um, so they messaged me back saying thank you very much for the information they're going to pass it on to their animal team or whatever section, they're, the animal section who deals with that and then they're going to get back to me so fingers crossed we might be able to find him a home that would be nice if we can um, so I sent him back saying if you want any more photos that's absolutely fine and uh, I can bring him up whenever and um, he's named and, and, and um, he's really nice and stuff like that. So fingers crossed, we get him a good home, and I can film us taking him up there and releasing him into the uh, the new where he's going to go. We probably have to go into quarantine. Yeah, you'll have to go into quarantine if he goes there. So literally, they've sent me a plague of locusts. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at it all. Look at it. 
How ridiculous is that? Oh my god. They've sent me like 80 odd boxes of locusts. What am I going to do with that many? So, I've still got all the stuff on the shelf. So, that's literally my locusts go in that little slot there. And that's how much I got. <laughs> what am I going to do? So, if you want some locusts, I'm the place to come. So, I've got quite a few. <laughs> oh my god, so proper let themselves down this week they have so they sent me that that tank down there by mistake and they sent me half of this by mistake oh I don't know but they've charged me for it all so I've had to tell them I said I'll, I'll accept the locusts because I ain't going to send locusts back because that's a pain in the bum um, but I said I ain't keeping that tank if I don't want it so I've had to send that back or I'm getting it sent back anyway so ooh, got to find a place to put all these now told you the fossil gods are not happy they're not happy. We need to appease the fossil gods and go fossil hunting. Definitely. So I can't be dealing with this weather all the time. Oh, the lordy. So somebody's in solitary confinement because they want to jump out the tank and we have to keep the lid on. Didn't we? Because you jumped out. Didn't we? You jumped out, you naughty boy. You're such a naughty boy. So we've rang multiple different places now. Supply Park's got back to us, they give us a number for somewhere else. Um, what's it called? I haven't heard anything. Oh no, I'm waiting to hear back from Sea Life Centre. And I've just sent a message to the new bloke that Safari Park just give me the number four. So fingers crossed, we'll get some reply and we might be able to take him somewhere because I just can't make the most of him now because then we have to have the lid on, it's no good at all. Um, yeah, naughty boy jumping out. So he does use his cave, which is which is happy days, he's using his cave. But what I've got for today is I've got a treat for the alligator guards. So we've got the alligator guards, he's up there, there he is. So I've got a load of live river shrimp. So we can go around, put loads of river shrimp. Oh there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. So I've got loads of live river shrimp, so we're gonna put them in now and see what they make of the live river shrimp. So Meg's got our river shrimp. We can get them to stop being blurry. There we go. So we've got loads of river shrimp. We're going to feed them to the guards, and he knows. He knows it's dinner time, so we're going to chuck them in and see what they do. So May's going to release the shrimpies. Oh, she's dropping There we go. Shrimpies are released. Shrimps away. So we've got to see if the guard is going to get one. So we've got shrimp everywhere. Lots of shrimp. But will their garfish find the shrimp? So there's a shrimp there, and he's looking at the garfish. He's like, oh my god, what the hell is that up there? I don't know if they see them because they're clear. Come on, you got river shrimp to eat. We got dinner. We got dinner, mate. You can come get your dinner. Look at them, there's loads. Those are little shrimpies. Hopefully, the guys are going to find them and have some dinner. Hey, catfish in his cave. Catfish in his cave. Who's a good lad, eh? He's in your cave. Oh, we took the lid off for a bit, so we're going to feed him in a sec. He's a good lad. We need one to stay in the tank, that is. Hello little mate, you're looking very impressive, slowly getting more and more lumps on your back aren't you, and lumps on the back of your head. So eventually you'll be having a sail fin and that'd be lovely when she got a sail fin. But Meg is just in your food as we speak. So soon, oh you've heard it, he's seen it, he's like I'm going to have some munch, I'm going to have some munch. So we're going to have to open the cage very nicely, he's probably going to have a panic. But uh, you can see he's starting to get the ridge down his tail and stuff. Or he's just going to run away. So there we go. We'll, uh, we'll open up now, put some food in, and see how we get on. He's in it. He's in its food. Is that your dinner, mate? Is it? Is, it? is that your dinner? What is it? Hey. Eh? Oh. Oh. What is it? Look at the markings on him. He's absolutely getting stunning. The yellows and greens and all that starting to come out on him now. But I think he's going to have a cricket. He's going to have a cricket. 
Should be loads of crickets about. Everyone heading away. They're all heading away, are they? <laughs> Come on, mate, you can spot a cricket. There's going to be some around somewhere. There's one. There's one. It's changed your mind. The crickets are that way. That's tomorrow. Book of morning for him. He can't spot them. He's being silly. He's had one. He's just had one. It's gone up there and he's all in now. He's been, a, been very shy today. I'm going to have some dinner. Thinking about it. You want a cricket there? Look. You make me look bad, don't you? You're gonna make me look bad. Come on, it's like right next to it. You just climbed over it. You silly lizard. That's good look, you see he's got a slight little ridge coming on his back now. He's got a slight little ridge coming on his tail. So we soon gonna be getting some nice sail fins, man. He's gonna be looking so cool. Can't wait for him to get big. Oh, I don't know. You should be eating your dinner, mate. There's should be loads of food. There's loads of food. I don't know. At least he's had a couple. I'm having a fever and I ain't been about of it. Is that what it is? I bet you haven't, yeah. You've been having a feed without me being here, haven't you? You're such a fussy little lizard. He's a good lad, though. Time to feed the Kraken. <laughs> so Meg's got his food ready. So we're going to see if he actually wants dinner today. Oh, if I could actually grab him with the tongs. There we go. Aww. There you go, Meg. That was special for you, that was. You can keep that. Come here, buddy. Woo -hoo. Whoa. 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 Look at that. Somebody's hungry today. Straight in this cave. What a good lad. So we get him another one. There's a hungry boy. Do you want to feed him one, Meg? Yeah. Well, go on then, Maggie. Here you go. How are you doing? Fish. Fish for you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right behind the pipe where no one can see. <laughs> no, it's okay. We'll get him round. We'll lure him round afterwards. He's a good lad. We give him one more? Yeah. One more. Well, we can give him the other half, can't we, as well, if he wants yeah. the other half. So, come on, we'll go around here so we can see him feed. There we go. Oh, we've got some fish. We've got some fish. Wanted? No. Nope. Obviously, if you touch his tentacles. Tentacles? It's feelers. <laughs> They're not tentacles. It's hard to see from here. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got no, he, he, he hasn't ch got it, he missed. He changed his mind. Yes. He's had two, which is twice as many as last time. It's two of your max, is it, sir? Are you happy with two? He's going in the cave, Meg. I think he's happy with two. So we're leaving with having two, I think. Oh, well, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. Look at him in his cave. Definitely need a bigger cave. Oh, yummy. Yay. There we go. Now he's happy. Yummy catfish food. Yummy food for the catfish. So there we go, Fed. Right, I'm afraid that alligator gars can't see see-through shrimp. So I've got all these shrimp swimming around. And the gars can't even see them. Can you? We can. He's eating something. I lied. We missed him eat one. We missed. He has ate one. I was lying. You gonna have another one for us? Where's the other one? Is the other one at one? 
I could have sworn they couldn't even see him. Oh. I think they can, I think they can. Oh, so what we may have to do is wait a little bit and see if we can catch them eating one. Well, maybe tomorrow we might come back and catch him eating one. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, we tried. He tried, he nearly had one. He nearly had one. Ah, that shrimp's realised he's going, no, I'm going back the other way. I'm definitely going the other way. Forget that. <laughs> oh, we might catch him catching one tomorrow. You won't let me down, will you, buddy? You'll perform for me. He's a good lad, eh? We're gonna open this box of food quick. There we go, let all the locusts out. Little mate, little mate, little mate. Wow. Oh, we got it, Scapey. We got it, Scapey. We got him, we got him, we got him. Oh. So you can have some locusts for me, sir? Come on, mate. Yes, didn't you? Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Yummy, yummy, yummy. He's got locusts everywhere, but he likes the Mario worms. You've got another one in there, buddy. Do you want me to give you another one? Is that what it is? Look at it, look at it. It's going away. Quick. Quick. Quick, it's going to burrow away. You missed. You missed. You're not very good at this old catching food lark. He wants it, but he's taking his time. Twenty. What's he doing? Who's a good boy? Hey? Who's a good boy? Okay then, that's everything done for today. So I've had to let Meg go home because we've, we've run a bit over. So Meg's already gone. But um, we've got to get everything done today, even though we've had extra deliveries of God knows what. I can't believe how many locusts they sent me. And I've got extra tanks and stuff that I didn't, we didn't ask for, but I paid for. So I ain't happy about that. But uh, I mean, most of the people was fed today. Some people were trying hard not to feed, but some of them just been a bit funny lately. Um, but we got big um, catfish to eat a load, which is great. He seems to be right keen on eating today. So I'm really happy about that. Gars seem to be slowly coming along to their new feed. So I can give them river shrimp all day long. Um, and we give them some lance fish tomorrow or something like that. But yeah, we'll crack on. I hope you have a good day and um, I'll see you in a bit. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me and I'll see you in the future. Bye.